It's been a very active year for us at British Land this year, a year of delivering on our strategic objectives. NAV is up by more than 15% to 688 pence and profits have increased by over 8%. As expected, earnings per share are down, reflecting the sale last year of Ropemaker. Combined, this is a total accounting return of over 20%. The main drivers for the increase in income during the year have been investing our placing proceeds, the completion of a number of our West End developments which have contributed materially to income, and a healthy increase in like-for-like -like income growth across the standing portfolio, net of the impact of prior year disposals. Looking forward, rental income will benefit from contracted increases we've already achieved on our 2010 development programme, and it will increase further as we let up the remaining empty space and we're positive about the outlook for that. In the current year, the dividend was increased by 2.3% and we've increased the dividend again, this time by 2.5% for the forthcoming financial year, reflecting the confidence we feel in the outlook for the business. An important feature for our lenders is the strength of our debt metrics. Our LTV stands at 40% today, at the bottom of our 40-50% to 50 range. Looking forward, the level of LTV will be impacted by retail sales, capital expenditure and acquisitions, as well as valuation increases. So I can see that with ongoing strength in markets, and depending on the time of transactions, our LTV will be around the 40% level, perhaps a little bit above or a little below. We have a strong track record in raising low-cost debt from a range of sources. We've raised one and a half billion of debt facilities over the last year and I'm most pleased by our most recent facility. We took advantage of the market to raise 785 million unsecured revolving credit facilities from 14 lenders. Over the last three years, we've raised four billion of finance, and it means that for British Land today, we have no refinancing requirement for at least the next four years.